Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to decide if I'm an evil or bad person. Now, before I actually tell you what exactly happened, let me give you some background stories. So basically, I go on TikTok, right? Everyone goes on TikTok for different reasons. Some people try to get entertained. Some people go in the comment section. Some people repost videos. Now me, I'm a comment type of guy. I go on there for entertainment sometimes, but sometimes I go in the comments and I'd be like, hey, and I say something, okay? Now, the things that I say, I may or may not make people mad on purpose. And for an example, when it comes to like basketball or sports stuff or just random stuff in general that has to do with celebrities or anything, I blatantly do the exact opposite of what they say. They say they like uh, Shaq. I say Shaq is a terrible player. I let's I, I say they support Donald Trump or Joe Biden. I'm going to say the exact opposite of whatever they say because in reality, I just don't care. So I just love seeing people mad for no reason. And when people get mad, I'm going to I'm going to bl like blur their name and everything. But when people get mad, they get mad and they start yapping about how mad they are for literally no reason. So basically in this situation I'm about to pull up right here, this is the best example of which I can say. So we all know the hot two girl, the uh, girl that went viral for 15 minutes and now she's quit her job and she does all this stuff trying to be a famous person, trying to be a celebrity. In reality, she's not. She's not. She's getting close, but she's not there yet. Just because she has security doesn't mean that she's a celebrity. And basically there was a video on TikTok saying um, that she was on a podcast, right? And she was talking about how she needs security. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, she looks like the average girl. I would not notice her. I was walking down the street and I seen her. I wouldn't even pay attention to her. I wouldn't care about her because I just wouldn't, like, I wouldn't know what she looks like. I already forgot what she looks like. I just know that she looks like the average white girl. And I know that's going to make some of you mad, but it's just true. So this person that was a commenting that I made mad on purpose. Okay. And let me tell you this, this per this girl was mad. I have never seen anyone this obsessed and mad about this entire thing so basically she got to the point where um when i was saying that she wasn't a celebrity she shouldn't have security because no one really cares like no one really no no don't no die hard guy or girl is going to really care but clearly she has fans because clearly this was one of them so basically this girl ran out of things to uh, assault me by and uh, to talk to me about so she went for my iq and she called me dumb and she called me childish and she said i was a kid let me tell you i am a kid i'm 16 but listen my IQ might not be that great. She might have a good point. My IQ may be below average, but that doesn't mean anything because I still know what I'm talking about on this situation. She's not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. She's not Kanye What? She doesn't need security. People are not after her. She's not Andrew Tate. She doesn't have a whole bunch of people that hate her like Andrew Tate, Kanye West. She doesn't have people shooting her like they did with Donald Trump. They, she's, She doesn't need security. Let's be honest here. No one knows her. Okay, well, people know her, but people just, they just know they mean. They don't actually know her. So I gave up. I, I was like, okay, this girl is, this girl was writing me paragraphs on just assaulting me about the same thing over and over again. So I just said, uh, slay girl, because I noticed that she was a girl. So this always works. I would slay. And then it worked. It worked. She, she stopped. Comp she was like, did the laughing emoji. And that was the end of our whole conversation. At this point, I had no idea what was happening. I have no idea if it was good, bad, whatever. I knew I wasn't going to get in trouble because it was so stupid. The whole conversation was stupid. It makes no sense. Why are you, you commenting a whole book about a one situation? It doesn't even really matter. Why does my opinion matter? Why does my opinion affect your life? It makes no sense. See, I do it because it's fun making people mad. But you're doing it because you actually are trying to prove a point. I'm not. I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I just don't. And I don't really care. But am I a bad person making people mad on purpose even though I don't really care? Probably. I might be a little bit of an evil bad person. I mean, that's not me to decide. That's y'all. I could be doing worse things, but I decided to make people mad on TikTok. It's not my fault. I've been doing it for the longest time, and I haven't got really in trouble. So, like, I'm just going to, ah, I don't know if I'll keep doing it. I might retire after this one. This was the peak of the excitement of getting someone mad. This was the absolute peak. And I don't think I can get anything better than that. So should I stop? I probably will. I probably will not do this on purpose again because uh, I did I did spend a good amount of time just, just going back and forth because it was just super funny because they were wearing paragraphs and I was like, tough. Like literally, they wrote a whole, whole essay and I was just like, tough, I guess. <laughs> 
And then they wrote a whole essay about me putting tough in quotation marks. This is crazy. But anyways, guys, um, I do want to point out I will stop doing this because I feel like eventually if I kept doing this, I will get people mad at me. And that's just not my objective. My objective was just to, I guess, get people mad at me. But that's literally, that's that goes against what I just said. But just, just don't pay attention to it. I'm going to stop doing it, so don't hate me, please. But anyways, guys, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Not many of you guys are subscribed. We're on the way to 1.5 thousand subscribers. But anyways, guys, peace out.